Um, and then finally for Best me... Best story of the day, this one, I think. Well, um, a Christian who sues a gallery over blasphemous erection. Who's so, a blasphemous erection? You have well, to look very carefully at that picture. Yes, so there's a... Would you like to see my picture? Yes, please. Yes. There. You know those souvenirs um, you can get on tacky Greek islands? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's like that, but it's shaped. It's Jesus shaped. Yes. yes. So Jesus is a bit excited in this uh, particular image, and uh, a lady, a Christian, <laughs> is suing them. She's no, having her legal costs paid while she does this, and the gallery has pleaded not guilty because yeah. they had a whole range of statues in a similar position. Can you imagine? Can you imagine someone displaying a statue of uh, Muhammad? With an erection, can you imagine the outrage that would be caused? There? there would be an outrage, yeah. but then you've got to we think can't, about we it. We can't even show you the cartoons yeah. that were meant in the spirit of humour. Yeah. Uh, we can't show you on this because of the trouble that would cause. And so, when my first reaction was, "Ha ha, ha you know, it's a mad Christian with no sense of humour," but to keep it in perspective, it does make you think. If, if it were just one shift from one uh, religious figure to, to another, another. Yeah. Mm. yes, they use Mickey Mouse yeah. as their comparison. Yeah. Which yeah. probably isn't quite in the same league, is it? No. But anyway, somewhere to put your key ring. Yes. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it's a small bunch. <laughs> small bunch. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, after the break, <laughs> has her 17-year-old daughter's surprise pregnancy effectively finished the career of Republican vice-presidential candidate Sarah Palin?